So one day, I'm just at the park on my boy Nash's account. Shout out to him, by the way. And, you know, I'm just running around. I see an invisible my player. So I'm like, yo, let me check out this man's badges. You know what I'm saying? He might be okay. He's got a terrible record. But look at the badges, okay? One, two, three, four, five Hall of Fame badges. I scroll down a little bit more, and I see a gold badge. That's supposed to not be possible, bro. Now, as you guys can see, this is no Photoshop. This is live gameplay. This man has five Hall of Fame badges and a gold badge that's upgraded that was a bronze. So as soon as I find out, you know, how to do this badge glitch, I'm going to let you guys know, you know, as soon as possible. Now listen, this badge glitch has me so hyped, I didn't even get to do my intro, bro, man. I hope you guys are having a great day today. But as you guys can see, I got the gameplay with the invisible my player. Now, I'm not sure how this works. Now, I think that he can't even see his own my player. And if the people that he's playing against does not have the arrows turned on, then they pretty much cannot see him. Now, first of all, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to these two guys. Shout out to the guy who let Nash use his account. And then shout out to my boy Nash for letting me use his account when he used that guy's account. So shout out to both of them. Nash's link will be in the description down below. Guys, go ahead and show him some love. Go ahead, you know, subscribe to him and tell him I sent you there. Go to his verse video and comment culture. All right, simple. Just go to his video, comment culture, and subscribe. If you're a true fan, go support my boy Nash. You know, if it wasn't for him, I couldn't be making these videos right now. So shout out to my boy Nash once again. But now I just want to talk about the possibilities or the combinations you can do with these badges. Like once you figure out what you can do with these badges, it's overpowered. So I was thinking, what if you make, you know, a six four shot creator, six three shot creator, and then of course all your Hall of Fame badges come first, and then you get the gold badges. Now I was thinking if you're a shot creator with tireless score, um, difficult shots, and then you get a gold badge, say that you get limitless range so say that you get limitless range with the shot creator now i don't know if you guys keep up with my team or anything like that but if you were to go play my team right now and you get like pretty much the best i think it's like the diamond steph curry card if you go play with him or play against him with someone who has that card and knows what he's doing with that card it's a gg my boy breeze you know he showed me the cheese and uh team up yesterday or a couple of days ago this man breeze was using the diamond you know steph curry pulling up limitless range taking pull-ups bro it's like a shot creator would and this man was not missing like it's op i'm telling you guys if we can bring this to the park it's over with bro it's gonna be so fun the game is gonna be completely broken but it would be fun like i said earlier in the video once i figure out how you can upgrade your non-upgradable badges to gold I'm gonna make a video about it, but I'm just sitting here thinking about the best archetype. Like, what would be the best archetype since you can upgrade all your, you know, pretty much bronze badges to gold? Let me know in the comment section and tell me why. Like, why do you think that archetype would be the best? Now, and let me know what you guys would think the worst is. Now, in my opinion, I think, I don't know, I think maybe the lockdown defender would be the worst simply because all the other you know archetypes would have pickpocket on gold and defensive stopper on gold so i feel like that would be pretty much useless and you guys already know the stealing you know is pretty much overpowered in this game you can steal the ball when someone's right in front of you no matter what even if you are using a playmaker you can still get ripped that's how stupid this game is your ball control is the highest out of any archetype but you can still easily get ripped just like a shot creator would or anything like that that's how stupid this game is but I was sitting there thinking about that combination too with the playmaker. So what if a playmaker had gold difficult shots? Now you guys already know playmakers can hit shots off the dribble pretty much just as consistent, almost as consistent, you know, as a shot creator. But just imagine from them having a bronze difficult shots and tireless score upgraded to gold, it would be even more overpowered. I don't know. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think about this glitch. Like I said earlier in the video, let me know what you guys think would be the best archetype. And also let me know what you guys think what would be the worst archetype since you can upgrade these badges. I don't know. Let me know in the comments section. But that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. Once again, shout out to both of these guys for uh, letting me make this video. But that is going to wrap it up for today's video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already enjoyed the culture. I'm going to catch you guys next time. I'm out. All uh right. -huh.